Hey tribe, welcome to HTDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and this channel of mine is the home of the Granny Square. It is a place where I am documenting my journey as a designer and to show and share all the projects that I love, love, love making. Splashed with a little bit of gardening right now. So tribe, I hope wherever you are that you are safe and that you are well. If you are returning, what's up, what's good? I hope you've had lots of great projects on your hook or your needles. And if you're brand new, thank you so much for spending some time with us. It's great to have you here. I am fast approaching 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I just feel a little bit like, wow, me? Um, and then also at the same time, I'm like, come on, I'm ready to reach it at the same time. Um, today, I have, it's a little bit cold today, so it's May the 3rd, I believe. Um, it's actually now officially summer in the United Kingdom, and so we've got a gloomy day. Um, but it isn't raining, it's just a little bit grey. Um, and I'm sure if you watch any other British podcasters, we all have to tell you the weather. Um, so today I'm inside, um, which I don't mind. I've been getting quite a bit of crochet done. I'm um, just a little bit cold, so I've got a slightly pink nose, but I've got warm juice in here. Just keeping my hands warm and it's warmed my tummy. Um, I, today, have got products to show you. So first of all, what am I wearing? I am wearing this jumper that I have designed and made myself. It doesn't yet have a name. I thought I had a name and now I'm like, mmm. So if anybody is on my Patreon, my Tribe Stars, you wonderful, wonderful lot, I've already posted um, today asking for name suggestions and I've given you all my inspiration. Um, and also the names, like the contenders that I've picked. Um, so hopefully between us we're going to come up with something spot on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so it's been designed by me, made by me. I have graded it and I've written the pattern up and the only thing left to do is to work out how much yarn is needed for each size. So this will go from extra small, which is, um, I think that's 26 or 28 to 30 inches. And then the largest size is, let me just grab it. It goes from extra small, which is 28 to 30 inches, which is 71, 71 to 76 centimeters. And the largest size is 5XL, which is 152 to 158 centimeters, which is 60 to 62 inches. So I am wearing, I can't believe it is not my whip over. I am wearing the size small and I have like a 32 inch bust. Um, and it's got, not negative, positive ease in it. So it's a little bit oversized. So it's a little bit loose um, and it's really comfy. And I'm already thinking of the next colors that I want to make this in. <sighs> in fact, I've pretty much picked the next colours I want to make it in and also decided I want to make it in chunky as well. Um, and I think I've got a pretty strong idea of the colours for that as well. Um, but I'm not dropping any hints in case I change my mind. Um, but as soon as I have got the yarn, Tribe Stars, you're going to know. Um, and I might do a yarn haul because I've got that much yarn I want to order. So today I'm going to show you a whip that I started last Sunday. Um, so I, today is Sunday, so it's been a week, which I'm just restacking. Um, and then some patterns that I have, uh, not amassed, but gathered maybe. Um, over the last couple of weeks I have been through my library on Ravelry and emails and bits and bobs and I've printed off quite a few of the patterns I've brought in the past and not got around to making and I've also purchased some patterns since lockdown. So first of all, whips. You all know about this one if you've been here before. This is my together blanket um, and I decided on my first day of isolating that I would make a granny square for each day. I'm now on day I think I'm nearing week eight, so I'm quite far in now. Um, and in all honesty, when I started this, I wasn't sure how long it would go on for. 
Um, so I wasn't sure how big to make the squares because if I made them giant, I'd have like a blanket that was just ridiculous. But if I made it small and then lockdown finished really quickly, which we all hope, it would be really piddly. Um, so I went with five rounds and I'm using a 4.5 mil hook and each square is just scraps. So I have got a great big tub of, it's not great big anymore, I could get more. I've got a big tub of double knit yarn just directly behind the camera um, so I will take some footage to show you and every day I just take out five colours and add them on. It has gotten a little bit more difficult now because I have stash dived so heavily for other projects that I'm starting to really take out colours like there's no pink, there's barely any green. Um, so it's getting a little bit more complicated to add colours in so I'm really looking forward to putting a yarn order in at some point. Um, I got this up to date last Tuesday and I weaved in all the ends on the back and then turned it over and realised there was just a few, just a couple on the front um, and then I added this square in the week. I usually add each square on my lunch break, that's been my routine um, but for various reasons I've kind of, that routine hasn't been working and so this blanket is behind by like I think five days again um, and normally I will then catch up with it on Sunday during my church live stream only I was working on the last little diagram for this pattern so I didn't do any crochet um, but I will get it up to date on Tuesday and then I will spam the gram with even more pictures if you're on Instagram I am at HG Designs Crochet so that you can take a look um, but I have been picking out colours, so although I haven't gotten around to actually adding them on, I've got my colours lined up. It's just a case of um, giving myself a portion of time to sit and add them on. So I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm about to start row eight and it's halfway through row six. I start row eight on... Oh, I've just found an end. I start row eight on... Wednesday so Tuesday night I will make sure that this is all up to date I'm ready to start my fresh week on the Wednesday so what do you think to this I do love the colours I love that it doesn't clash but it does but it goes um, and in terms of picking out colours I just sort of eyeball it and try to distribute the colours evenly I don't like two colours so in this square in the surrounding ones I won't use those colours because I don't want I want it to look like I've just picked out any old colour even though I've spent hours agonising over it um, but last Sunday because I was pretty much on top of that pretty much on top of I wasn't on top of that I had so many ends but whatever because I'd just finished this and it had been photographed and I just like oh, what's next and I've got a list of what's next in terms of designing projects um, but they all need grading before I pick up my hook so I I was just a bit like oh mm, I think now's the time for a new project and if anyone's watched my previous vlogs um, I made a pledge with my tribe stars the patreons my wonderful wonderful tribe stars that we were going to do team finisher and that means I am working my way through my whips before starting more projects. Um, and so I did say that I was going to tick off X amount of projects before I allow myself to start a new pattern. Um, and the Tribe Stars, Casey and Shardine in particular, said that was a fair deal. So, I mean, if you give me permission, I'm going to start a new whip. So, Sunday night... I was just sat scrolling on the gram because I didn't really want to commit to anything but I wanted to make something and Ida, and I'll put her at tag below on Instagram, sent me a picture of a mini EP blanket. So for those of you that, not, that don't know, um, the EP blanket is the Easy Peasy Blanket by Meet Me at Mike's on Instagram and that inspired my... Um, blanket that I called Enough, which is upstairs, that's why I'm pointing. Um, I've done 
I think I've done 20 or 25 squares and they're about 11 rounds and they're all ready and they just need joining when I get the joining colour. But Ida had sent me a picture of her mini EP blanket that she'd started with crap, crap, with scrap yarn and I just knew, I just knew instantly that I had to make one. So that night I started one. So she sent me a picture, her squares, I think they're seven rounds, um, or maybe, I think they're seven, I think we've done similar, or maybe they're six, but I decided to do this, I love it, I love it already. Um, so each square has got five, has it got five, one, two, three, four, silly, four rounds of this grey in the centre, and then I've bordered them with two rounds of a colour. Um, and I decided that the colour scheme was going to be inspired by my huge love of gardening right now. So I wanted like the sunshine yellows, the natural greens, um, and then some blue for the sky. So I got busy and I started making squares. And on, I think, Sunday night I made the first seven squares. So here's a selection of the colours that I've used. Um, I've got yellow, I've got like a bottle green, I've got sky blue, it's the same yellow and a green. And um, throughout the week I have just had, when I've had like five minute eye breaks and things like that, I've made a square. And so now I have all of these squares. Ooh, yeah. I've got all of these. There's 28 here. This blanket is going to be 63 squares. I think I decided on a seven by nine formation, something like that. Um, so I need 63. There's 28 there. I started to weave the ends in on those as well. So you can see up here there's no ends because I weave them in. But not only have I made those 28, I've also made 24 centers and I've weaved the ends in on those as well yeah so how many is that 52 have I made 52 in a week yo that's crazy <laughs> I, I messaged Ida earlier and was like I'm so sad because I'm loving it but it's going to be done so soon and I don't want it to be done um and what will I do when it's done? Oh wait, yeah, I'll just make another blanket. <laughs> so I've got these and I've got these. It's a week's worth of work. And I haven't been going gung-ho and I haven't been, like it's not been my obsession. I have also been working on this, um, as in writing up the pattern. I've worked on my Aran knitting um, and I've swatched for a new project but I'm not showing you that. I did cave in and showed a sneak peek to the Tribe Stars just because I want a little bit of feedback on whether it's a goer or not. I think I'm just gonna make it anyway, but it's always nice to have my cheerleaders like back me up and be like, yes, do your thing. So these need their outer edges adding on, but to be honest, I'm just gonna keep going with the gray centers for now. Um, I stash dived and this yarn is discontinued. I brought it from one of the pound shops in the UK when it went out of business. Um, and so I have got enough of this to make, just about make the 63, um, um, to make the blanket and then all of this will be gone out of my stash. Uh, but I think each of these when I weighed them was four grams and then the outer edge was five grams so it's nine grams per square um, and I always when I'm stash diving I always weigh the different sections just so I know roughly how much yarn I need and I can go through my stash and weigh out to see if I've got enough so I had just enough of this and I find a little bit more so I should be good um, and then I've got loads of colours picked out as you've seen so I should be fine with that however I've probably only got enough in stash to maybe do another six in green and then the rest are going to be blue and yellow and I wanted it to be more green than anything 
So what I think I'm going to do is when I place my yarn order, I am going to leave, I'm going to order some green and that means leaving some of the grey squares without their colour, just so that when that yarn comes, if I keep back like, I've got another, how many more do I need to make? 11. So say if I just keep back at least half of this wedge, then, and to add grey on, then there should be a good mix when I get to it. So I've used a 4 mil hook for this project. Um, it doesn't have a name, I'm just calling it my mini EP blanket and it is just, it's just great, it's what I need right now. It's something that I can pick up, um, I don't have to think. I can make granny squares with my eyes shut, I don't have to have the light on, I can, I can crank these out whilst I'm watching a film and it's just really nice to have something just to pick up that I don't have to think about. This is great, but I have to pick out the colours, so it's not like I have to have the big tub of yarn next to me and keep looking and or row them all up before I start. This is just simply a ball of yarn and just keep going till you're done. And then I will pick one of the colours and I'll make like three or four. I'll add three or four. Does that make sense? I'll get the yellow and then three or four of these and I'll make them, I'll add the yellow round and then I'll pick another colour. Um, and I've already separated out all of the colours I want to add in so it is literally just a case of grab and carry on. So yeah, that's my mini EP blanket. Thank you so much Ida for the um, inspiration. And now that you've all seen it, I will can finally post about it on Instagram. I always try to wait. Um, tribe stars always get the first dibs, like the first sneak peeks, but then I try not to put too much on the gram before you come here. Otherwise, I always think, well, you've seen it, so there's no great big, like, ta da I want you to see the thumbnail and be like, oh, what's that? So, mini EP, well in progress. It, if I carry on at that speed, it'll be done next week. Um, but I've got... I know which projects I'm working on in terms of my designs and then also I'm thinking of making another stash busting granny square pattern uh, blanket by just making block granny squares so just pick out a colour, make five or six, I think I'd probably go with six, six rounds of one colour um, and then I'm just going to join it all and then it would just be all multicoloured. And again, inspired by Ida and a blanket that her grandmother made. You can see that on her Instagram. Um, but I might hold off starting that until I've ticked off a few more projects on my list. So I've already finished um, Distraction or the Tetris blanket as people call it. I have finished all the squares for my Enough blanket. I've um, made as many centres for my two round granny square blanket as I can out of the stash I already have um, and I've finished this and I think that's it for now but then I've made huge progress on my Aran um, yeah, so I'll probably take a few more off anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of the patterns that I have recently acquired and then I'm going to go because I was going to leave this at 15 minutes and I have already exceeded that. Okay. These are some of the recent patterns that I have printed or acquired. Um, and I'm not going to do them all today. I'm just going to show you a couple. One of them being this blanket. And I think it's called the Ratchy, Ratchy Sunshine Blanket. And if I, I probably butchered that, but there we go. Um, and I will put a picture on screen just to show you. But it's a beautiful, bright blanket. And I brought this because um, when there was the wild fires in Australia at the start of the year, part of the proceeds for this went for the pattern purchase, or went to um, charities to help with the relief. Um, and so I purchased this and then I printed it and I took it with me to show my grandmother and she loved it so much that I left it there with her and intended to print out another copy 
and I just totally forgot about it and it wasn't until this was reposted on Instagram that I was like I have that pattern so that's another blanket that I could start when this one's ready to be joined um, so as part of team finisher I'm trying not to buy any yarn and so what I've been doing is once all my squares are ready I put them to one side um, with all the ends weaved in ready for when I'm gonna place a ginormous yarn order um, and then they can all get joined so at this rate by the time I get around to placing this yarn order I'm going to have um, enough mini EP, the two round granny square and the other granny square black one that's four blankets to put together yeah so blanket stack two is happening <laughs> um, and I could easily make this out of stash and then just buy another joining colour so that is pattern number one pattern number two I'm going to show you today is the Stormborn it's a knitted pattern and it's by I think her name's Paige Paige Parkin mm, and she is Knit Diaries um, on Instagram I think her name's Paige it is, it's on the front there, Paige Parkin. And she has designed and made this amazing sweater. Sweater, jumper, whichever you prefer. Um, and she, as part of the Stay Home incentive, offered a free download. And so I got this pattern. Um, I'm a massive fan of her work and I've never had any of her patterns before. And it was a really close call between this one and a t-shirt. Um, so I decided to get this one. But I do think that I'm probably going to go back and purchase the t-shirt one. One, to say thank you to the designer for doing that. And two, um, because I think it will be a really good staple in my summer wardrobe. So this uses, I think, it, yeah, it uses worsted weight held double so that's iron weight held double so it's pretty much chunky um and i'm not sure out of stash what i would use for this i do have would that be chunky or super chunky if it's chunky i have got some chunky in my stash it's like a pink tweed that i could use if it's super chunky i don't have anything and i don't have enough um iron or worsted weight yarn to use unless I hold some yarn unless I hold two different colours together which I could do um, so there's another pattern in my queue and I think that would be a really good one for winter um, especially as I I'm trying to have an entirely handmade wardrobe for this winter in terms of like woolens um, so it'd be really nice to have a mix of my patterns and some um, other indie di designers and also the big companies. One more pattern and then I'm out of here. Another um, designer that I absolutely adore is Andrea Knits. I think she's like Andrea Maori on Instagram. It's probably on here, let me check. She is Dre... I can't even say it. I'll put it on the screen. Drayani Knits. And um, she also ran a sort of coupon code for the Stay at Home initiative um, when lockdowns were started to be announced outside of China. And so she gave a code which was 50% off. And so I decided to purchase two patterns um, because you're getting a half price basically. And so I went with this and a pair of socks. And I'll show you the pair of socks next time. But this is the Rainer shawl. I've never made a shawl before. But this is beautiful. And it made me think of um, Aaron knitting. Because it's got like... Got like? There's that accent again. It's got uh, a real texture to it. Which reminds me of Aaron knitting. And so I decided to get this. I love the yarn that she's used. I love the colour. And I think that would be something that I would definitely use a lot in the winter and in the evenings when I'm a bit chilly just to wrap around myself. So I put... 
not wording very well today. I purchased this um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It has got some baroche or baroche. I have this same issue with that word every time and I have never knitted like that. So it's going to be um, quite challenging to learn, I think. But if I can, if I've pretty much mastered Aaron, I'm sure I can master that. So I've got another four or five patterns there and I will show you them next time. But for now, I'm going to go. I've got a little bit to do on this pattern. Then I can get it submitted and then I'm going to do some baking and tonight I'm gonna to weave these ends in. So I'll be back next week. I'll be back to show you what I've worked on. These might be done. I might have started something else. I should hopefully have started on my second garment that's in my queue. And I can't wait to see you and I can't wait to show you. So until then, stay safe, stay sane and happy making and I'll see you soon. Bye. Cause I